Welcome back, welcome back everybody to Sablecraft. We are going to start today off over here in our little enchanting library, thinking of awesomeness. So uh, actually, first I want to show you something. You may notice that mm, my cheeks look a little bit blushier, my eyes look a little greener. Um, that is because I'm going to take my armor off and show you why. Boom! I made my own skin. Oh my goodness, this took so stinking long. It, I mean, I probably spent mm, easily four to five hours on this. I never made my own Minecraft skin before in my life, so I'm gonna give you a little twirl. <laughs> I'm gonna take my backpack off and then uh, let's flip the camera around. So there you go You can see it from the back now as well Lovely lovely. I gave myself a little like flower like roses flower crown thing. I was like Yes, gotta have one of those got to have one of those. But what do you think? Uh, yeah, this like I tried to make it look like I kind of had like the front flippy bangs I hope it kind of comes off. I don't really know Let me know what you guys think of my new custom skin Like I said, I have never made one before this is the very first one I have ever made and I actually am pretty proud of it. I gave myself a cute little ripped jeans um, a white t-shirt Which is pretty much my like standard wear which is like I don't wear I don't wear ripped jeans But I would just wear jeans and I wear like a plain t-shirt <laughs> either like black and white stripes or just white or just gray Yeah, I'm pr I'm pretty basic you guys <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then let's just pop our cute little backpack on. I love it. I love it. But you know, I mean, I kind of want to go running around um, in my skin without my armor because I'm just so cute now. But I'm not going to. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put our armor back on because you know safety first. There we go. But um, my sword broke. My sharpness two sword broke because I was out building something over in that direction and uh, for quite a long time. It took many, many, many of days in game and real life. Um, so okay, we're gonna we're gonna get going. I do have some. Oh wait, we need lapis. Mm, I think I put my no. No, here. There we go. I put my lapis in here. Excellent. Um, but yeah, and so like I said, I was out there for quite a long time. And uh, what do we want? We have efficiency. We have sharpness. Sharpness. No, I think I actually... No, no, no. I know what I want to do. Uh, I want to enchant... I want to make a bow. I want... Actually, no. I want to make my bow again because I now have all the supplies needed to remake my bow. I think it's like, th wait, 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 wait. Okay, uh, this is the advanced one. There we go. We now have our advanced combat mod pulled up. So it appears there is only one bow, which is just two blocks of iron and then some uh, logs and then a normal bow. Okay, I can do that. We can do that. We've got this. So uh, let's go ahead and do three right and then I think all our string and everything is out in our shed so um I did go ahead and uh I I, I think I had recorded it like I like I had I think this was all in this one episode that I recorded and I just I would just I could tell I was so tired and I just again was not feeling it um and so I went ahead though and we made Levi here and then we made a red merle Australian shepherd named Whimsy and she is out there but we're gonna bring Levi with us because he is our tough dog he is uh I didn't really give him any skills except for completely maxing out like the one where like they take like an extra half a heart damage for uh, any mob that they try to uh, attack so we're gonna bring Levi Levi with us. He's a little slow. Come on, Levi. Let's go, buddy. Into... The... Okay, he's stuck outside. Well, that's to be expected. Okay, here we go. We want our ores, so it's like, uh, we're gonna almost need all of those. Ugh. We need... Well, not... We're not using all of them. We do, um, there we go. Two blocks of iron. What is this? A mushroom? What? Am I missing something here? Can you get mushrooms out of iron now? Super weird, okay. Um, and then we need our string. Uh, string, 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 string. Where's our string? Why don't we have any string? What, 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 what? No string, seriously? Okay, we have we have some cobwebs. Uh, can we turn the cobwebs into string? What? Well, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, so apparently I really don't know what happened to our string, but now we can just take a wool and make string, apparently. Let's try this. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh, that's... That. We're getting so many mushroom blocks. Why are we getting these mushroom blocks? I'm so confused. Let's make a whole bunch of string. There we go. And a mushroom block. Oh, okay. There has to be some bug in some mod that is causing me to get mushroom blocks. <laughs> Okay, so then I think it's like string like this, and then it's like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. Uh, another mushroom block. Excellent. We'll be eating mushroom stew for days. Okay, and then we need like one, two, three, four, six of those, I think. Um, let's see if the fur wood works, if I can, you know, place it correctly. That would be beneficial. And then iron block, iron block, and then a bow. Yes, it does, and a mushroom block. Perfect, so many mushrooms. Don't know what we're gonna do with all them. That's all right, Levi, come on boy. He's like, oh boy, let's go. Um, I want to make an effort to bring my dogs more places, like when we're doing work around the farm, because why not bring them? Come on, you are so slow. We are going to have to go um, and talk to Bennett. I was looking at his prices for his bones, and I don't think he's factoring in the fact that I have now, whoops, sorry, Levi, that I have now made him two how come on boy come in i know so exciting in the house um that i have now made him two houses not one but two houses and i'm like um excuse me you want me to pay how much for some bones um there we go so let's we uh put the bow in here no i don't want any of these uh i don't want unbreaking or punch or power Ay, ay, ay. Uh, efficiency, sharpness, or bane of anthropods. Uh, what if I don't want any of them? Okay, let's just do sharpness. Uh, okay, wait, do I... I'm in creative mode. Why didn't you tell me I was in creative mode? Guys, come on! Uh, hold on. There we go! <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, uh, back to what we were doing. Uh, the bow. Can we get, no, why? Oh, okay, we need more lapis, that's why. I think we do this every time. Power, I don't want power too. I want, I want, I want, <laughs> I want my, um, what was it, infinity. That's what I want, I want infinity. Okay, ooh, flame, feather falling. Oh, do we want our bow to light things on fire? I mean, I feel like that would be super cool. Let's do it. Let's have our bow light things on fire. Yes. Ooh, okay, I put our bow back in. We can get power, what is that, power, power four? I'm not good with Roman numerals. Okay, let's just do this one. Perfect, let's do that. Um, and then let's keep enchanting a few exchange. What is that? I don't know. Okay, um, this is not working out. I wanted my, um, infinity back on my bow because honestly that is the most useful thing that you can have on a bow honestly so we're gonna do this and then we're going to put flame on the bow i think uh we have to give our bow a name winter's bane there we go because it has flame on it and we live in a wintry biome why not okay and then what else can we put on it can we hi who is that chrysanthemum is that you of course it's you Chrysanthemum, what? What? She's like, I want to go out for a flight. We have not flown in forever. She's like, yeah, I will eat your face. Hi. She is like, she. what is up with you? What is up with you? You're like all kinds of pushy right now. You're not normally a pushy horse. Okay. Um, yes, hi. You are looking absolutely dashing in your uh, obsidian armor, Chrysanthemum. Okay, uh, let's try this again. Okay, I do remember that this advanced combat mod does allow you to add like craft enchantments. Okay, the infinity upgrade. So we need a... What? Is that... Is it just a normal golden apple or is it like... An enchanted golden apple. It just says... 
Okay, any of them, any of them. We can do that, we can totally do that. So we need to make four bows, we need paper, and then we need a golden apple. Okay, I thought it was like the god apple. Like you needed, okay, we need to sleep because things are starting to spawn. I thought it was like, for a second I looked at it and it said like it had both of them. And I thought it was like, you need the god apple to create infinity. I was like, no, <laughs> that stupid cow. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean like I'm not calling someone a cow if you remember it was that stupid cow that killed us over in that like cherry blossom orchard area that then we went back to get our stuff and then the creeper blew us up and blew up our amazing amazing bow oh my gosh that was just the worst day ever and I still have not replaced my bow but now we are getting there we are getting there so I think um Okay, Levi, you're coming with me because you your bite packs a punch. Okay, wait, are you sitting? Yeah, okay, no, you're coming with, you're coming with. Excellent, good boy. Let's go. And the last ingredient, an apple. I am so in love with our orchard. I love just being able to go out there and just pick an apple and go back into the house. That We need to start making like jams and pies and all the stuff, you guys. We need to make all of the delicious desserts. I, as I've said before, I love myself some pie. All right, Levi, you will teleport. But there we go. We have all the stuff that I think we need. Come inside, Levi. Go away. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. You're a lot more um, easy to, to work with than Cora. Cora, she likes to be a little cheeky and run outside. Oh, woo, wall there. Okay, so I think that is everything. So we take the apple, we surround the apple with gold. We have a golden apple. And then we do like stick, stick, uh... No, stick, 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 uh, <laughs> and then string, and then one, two, three, four, got it, got it, got it, got it, and mushroom, of course, uh, and then paper, yeah, boom, and mushroom, naturally. There we go, so now I think we can actually craft <gasps> we can, we can, cra and mushroom. Oh my god. We can craft the infinity upgrade. And then I think you just do this. Yes. I'm gonna cry right now, you guys. We have our bow better than ever. Look at it. I can't. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, I feel so, I'm just so happy. Literally, I have small tears in my eyes right now because I'm so happy that we have our bow back. You have no idea. Okay, we're just gonna have 15 arrows on us just because, no, no, we're gonna do a, a half a stack, uh, 32. There we go, just because, you know, safety, safety. All right, you guys, it is the next morning and we are about to go and see, um, see the new area. You might have gotten peeks and glances of it as I was walking around getting stuff done, but, but, we are about to go and explore because it is considerably more awesome than you have any idea. Are you ready? I am so ready. Let's go. <gasps> Look at it. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh. You, this, like, this took me so, so long. We're going to fly up overhead so you can see the whole thing. Look at all of the butterflies, you guys. I didn't even spawn in any of these butterflies. I just planted flowers and they just started appearing. So, you know how I was saying I wanted to build kind of like a hotel, like onsen type thing where, um, any traveling villagers could come and stay and maybe we could convince them um, to uh, stay and live in our village. So that is what this is. I decided to kind of make it a little bit like Asian inspired um, and then have kind of like a more traditional like almost like English style like garden just to kind of go with our house but then adding a little bit of an Asian flair to it as well. Um, I like I said I am in love with this. This is just everything that I could have ever wanted. I, I've like walked around here multiple times and <clears throat> like the butterflies everywhere. It is just so, so beautiful. But it also, and these benches work. You can actually sit on these benches. But the most enchanting walk through all of Sablecraft is this at night because 
all of these lanterns on the side here, they, they light up the whole path. And so you get all the butterflies and the flowers and it's dark out, but like the whole area is just a glow. It is beautiful. Okay, uh, Chrysanthemum, you're going to go here, enjoy the flowers. I know that wasn't much of a ride, but you know, go enjoy yourself. Okay, and then we are going to go in and we are going, I'm going to show you uh, what I built. There we go. Mini map is now re-enabled. There is a bad guy over there. Uh, I feel like I should go take care of that first. But if you guys have noticed, um, the uh, the world is considerably quieter now in Sablecraft. Unfortunately, I did have to remove the dynamic surroundings mod that added in all those really cool noises. Um, it was just causing so so much lag you guys it was insane and then it started not being compatible with other mods and then it was causing other mods to have problems it was just it was crazy um so i did have to unfortunately disable that mod i still have it installed it's just disabled and then um maybe if they upgrade it and it improves in the future we can add it back in but it is time to go and view our totally amazing hotel oh my gosh just don't look at the roof too much because i did not do a good job on the roof i will say that okay so you walk in and i wanted to have this like really close quarters kind of like small old building feel to it i really like that so this is the large tea room no creepers because sometimes there are creepers in here you guys it scares the bejesus out of me okay so this is the large tea room as you can see i put a lot of lighting in here because i don't have any windows because it is an interior room oh i need to eat i'm getting hungry there we go bacon fills you up the fastest in this game for sure but i do want to add more of a variety of foods but this is the large tea room it is beautiful this is for guests to come in and sit and enjoy and eat their meals and have their tea. This is a small tea room that has a considerably better view because it is an outside room. Um, before we go down to the onsen over there, um, we're going to go this way. But these are the rooms. There are three rooms for people to stay in. This is the uh, Sakura Suite. Uh, it has a pink theme, obviously. It is so so adorable all the rooms are fairly small but i figured if you're just kind of passing through as a traveler or something ooh, that's a really good idea i need to build like a stable or something because what if people don't walk what if they're coming through on their horses i should totally build like a little stable attached to this that would that's a good idea you guys good idea but this is the uh, next room the matcha chambers it has a green theme this is for any villagers like any engineers anyone that's like a little bit more techie that maybe would need a computer or something they have a computer in this room i don't even have a computer i don't even have a table i have nothing in my house we need to decorate our house you guys so so badly then this is the uh kind of like a couple's sweet area this um sweet <laughs> it's more for like if there are two people traveling together so this is this room here they have a cute little table with some tea and some food everything you could ever need for a good night's rest and this is the kyoto flat and so then this is the um the kitchen i am not a hundred percent done decorating this room i just kind of i ran out of steam it had been like like two days straight of building my eyes were hurting i was just done so this does go back around to the front here so the um the uh kitchen is kind of like the oh like a shortcut in between the two sides pretty much so you can either then go that way into the left to go to the hot springs or you can go out here and go to the little garden yes this whole area has its own garden what do you guys think i just thought this was so why see this is mm. Mm. This is what the mod did when I updated the mod. It turned all of my blocks this way. I don't understand why, but it did. I'll have to go and fix you later. I thought I'd fix all of them, but apparently not. <sighs> I hate it when mods update and they change things like this. It just totally drives me insane. Oh my gosh. Anyway, back to the tour. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is like another little area with a little small pond. Um, and then a little outdoor dining area as well. I absolutely love this. This is all deco craft. And by the way, yes, I did craft all of these blocks. They are incredibly easy to craft. Um, let me show you real quick. 
Okay, so you have the chisel mod, right? And so to make this paper block, you uh, just do a stick and then paper all around it. And since I had that whole little sugarcane farm, that took no time at all. So then you use the little chisel thing and then you can get all these different blocks. Same goes for this dark oak right here. You just take dark oak plank, use the chisel mod thingy on it. Um, and then, yeah, so we're running out of time. It is getting, it's gonna get late and like, gonna get late gonna get dark in two hours this is the men's side this is the women's side i will only show you the women's side as i am a woman i cannot go to the man's side okay um i guess since i'm the owner and then i did fly all the way up to the mountains all the way up there you guys it took so so long but ah uh, we have our very own hot spring now this has been such a long time coming um there we go. And then we get the little um, uh, regeneration effect. Uh, I might want to put one in my house at some point. Who knows? Maybe I will. But I mean, I'll just, we'll just take a quick peek at the men's side. It is absolutely identical to the women's side, except for the men's side does have a little view into the courtyard and that, but everyone has a little window out. The only room that doesn't have a window is the large tea room. But there you go, a quick and speedy tour of our little Ryokan with our little onsen in it and our little tea rooms. It is just an all-purpose building. We do need to, now that I, you know, Remember to do that, we do need to put a stable for people who come with their horses because they like to wander, as we see with uh, with chrysanthemum, with, with chrysanthemum while fumbling over my words so hardcore today. But look at all the butterflies. They have spread. Oh, you are beautiful. You have like clear wings. Or are they blue and you're just blending in with the sky? I cannot tell. You look like you have clear wings though. But so then I did also throw another bridge down over here. Like I said, I have been incredibly busy building all of this and flattening this, but um, that has been its old house. So you know how far back in the woods that was and I leveled the ground and cleared it out from like this cliff line here all the way back like it the, the the clearing goes all the way back that way you guys uh, all the way to the little lake out there but holy moly did that take me so so long i think i spent 18 hours clearing the land yeah it was rough it was real rough but totally totally worth it Good morning, Chrysanthemum, and good morning, everybody else. Oh my gosh. So now that I've shown you everything that I've done, oh my gosh, was it a lot? Um, I think I actually, um, I want to start crafting some better storage. I realized that I actually have, um, the storage mod installed. I totally forgot that I added that because I added, I think like almost 80 mods to this. There are a lot. Okay, here we go. So I'm really not exactly sure how to use this. Um, this is a basic drawer, holds uh, 16 stacks per drawer. This one holds eight stacks per drawer. Okay, so I think these are, um, how do we make these? I'll be right back. I do need to go do a little bit of research. I'm not 100% positive on how to use this whole storage drawers mod. I've actually never used them before, but uh, see you back in a moment. I am back, I am back. So I think I kind of have a little bit of a better idea on how to use them now. So I think we should head on over to our, uh, our little windmill thingy. And I just feel like these storage drawers actually would be a much better uh, method for storing all of our stuff just because the chests definitely do take up quite a bit of space. And I don't know, I just feel like they don't have, I don't know, I just feel like they're not maximizing the uh, storage potential of this uh, area in here because honestly, it, it really could, it really could be better. And I actually think this is all of them. So there's this, we have this big dark oak one. We have the two, the one by two. We have the two by two. We have the uh, half one by two and then the half two by two. I think that is all of them. Yeah. So I'm going to go into creative. I am going to, I think, play around with the storage a little bit and see kind of how to use this. I'm not 100% sure how to use this. And then uh, once I've kind of got a little bit of the storage started, then I will come right back. 
Welcome back, welcome back. So I actually really like this. This is so much more visual for me so I can really see what is in every single drawer and everything has its own little individual drawer. So I think that I am actually going to go ahead Obviously not on camera because it's probably going to take, it's probably been about like 20 minutes just uh, organizing all of this. But I'm probably going to go ahead off camera and uh, go ahead and make my entire storage area look like this. This is just so fantastic because I can do floor to ceiling storage and have all the little pictures and everything. I can know exactly what everything is. These are actually extremely easy to use. I am so happy I decided to play around with this mod. This looks fantastic. Fantastic. But all right, you guys, I think I'm actually going to leave this episode here. Please let me know what you thought about our new little spring area with our little, you know, with the little like rooms for everyone to stay in, for the little garden area, for like the little like the little walkway with all the sakura trees, everything. Let me know if you like it because honestly, I find it to be in the butterflies as well. Gotta love those butterflies. It is so beautiful, so peaceful, just so fantastic. I can totally see. Um, um, all of our villagers and our friends and potentially who knows maybe we'll meet a special someone in Sablecraft um, But I could totally see all of them just hanging out there and enjoying it I could see us on nice days bringing the dogs there and sitting and like hanging out bringing some tea eating a meal out there It is just such a beautiful little community area and I cannot wait to use it in Sablecraft But as always, please leave a like on this video and I will see you in the next one Bye